Greetings, everyone. Well, the first thing I gotta say is my heart is filled with gratitude to be standing here today and to share my thought on a topic that's so close to my heart. But before we dive in, let's take a moment and imagine a world where science, technology, engineering, and mathematics come together to create wonders. Think about it. We have self-driving cars, flying cameras, capturing breathtaking view, and even spaceships exploring the vastness of our universe. And let's not forget about the Apple Vision Pro, a product which can seamlessly blend the digital content with this physical world, while allowing the user to, to stay present and connected to others. It's truly magical how this STEM invention has transformed our life, isn't it? But here's the catch. Everything is on two sides, and STEM is no exception. Maybe there are some of you are thinking something like, of course, so that they were pure evil. And I'm here to confirm one thing. It's not about the invention themselves, but how we use them and for what purposes. And that is where nurturing innocence, as I mentioned before, becomes crucial. It is safe to say that the rapid development of technology brings drastic changes to our life. For example, connecting with the rest of the world is extremely simple and easy. All we need is a computer or a smartphone with internet connection. Almost you will have the whole world near in your hands. However, because of the good purposes, such as learning, exploring, and promoting culture, there are still fraud, discrimination, and cultural differences between regions and country. So, innocent, in this case, is the good purpose help us to orient the good value and to stay away from the bad thought which are waiting to rise up. I'm pretty sure that not, that not all of us here can speak French, Chinese, or Spanish all at once, so that is, well, completely normal because we are only human, right? We don't need to be worried because also on a smartphone or a computer with internet connection. Along with translating tools, chatting with people from different countries become easier than ever. However, that you don't speak or use any foreign language doesn't mean that you can't learn because abusing those translating tools will make you rely on them or sometimes too dependent on them. And your brain will gradually become lazy in both learning and using foreign languages. Picture this. You are traveling and unfortunately, your iPhone and a battery after a long day of taking pictures and making TikTok. And you're extremely struggling to find your way back to the hotel with almost no foreign language capital. Because before that, you only you translated to. Some people will say, look for help, but trust me, what you can do at that time will only be when you like an arm using all kinds of body language to express that you want to go back to the hotel. In a state of increasing panic, disappointment, and wish to yourself that if only you learn a foreign language a little harder, just a little bit. So, in a sun, in terms of intellect, it's diligent, it's progressive thought, not to let your brain rely on and become lazy. You play online games for about 30 minutes to an hour for entertainment every day. And it's, well, necessary and understandable for us because after a long travel day, we need to relax, like, right? Yet. You gradually immerse yourself in the virtual world because the game is so satisfying and captivating to the point where you forget to take care of yourself in this physical world that you are now living in. You neglect both learning and physical exercise, and that becomes harmful. 
Harmful not only to yourself, but those around you. So, maintaining innocence is knowing how to keep yourself, knowing how to balance whether the real world and the virtual world, something that is mainly decided by yourself. Please take an example of the project that I am a classmate have done. A project to learn about Vietnam and some country in Asia, such as China or Malaysia. Through books, newspapers, internet, and using online tools such as Google, Wizzy, Canva. We have collected a lot of useful information, for which we have a deeper understanding about history, geography, and the people of the country. Obviously, there are some costumes and some cultural features that are no longer completely suitable for this modern life. For instance, Vietnamese ao yai or Thai traditional costume is extremely gorgeous. However, it's almost only one of big events and festivals because it's not convenient for us to move and participate in our daily activity in such clothing. So, in a sense, in this case, it's knowing how to choose the right information among so much confused one in the internet, knowing how to choose the appropriate costume for each situation and case. To love and preserve the national cultural identity. Always keep the attitude of integration, openness, but not dissolution. And this is not only happening in this modern life. Let's take a look at our history for a bit. Around the 1860s, Alfred Nobel invented dynamite. Well, does he, his invention sound familiar to you guys? <laughs> of course. Well, for a lot of you, and, my, and for me in particular, his invention is only seen as an explosive weapon. But Surprisingly, his invention with a good nature at heart can also be called innocent in STEM. Initially used to create tunnels to the canals, contribute to building railways and roads around the world. Then, with the same invention, many years later, it was used in war, causing casualty and huge property damage. From unuseful at innocent too, to becoming the ultimate weapon. Who could have knew it would turn out like that? At least not for me and for all of you too. And this is what inspired me, more importantly, motivated me to speak up about this and to raise our awareness about this topic. At the end of his life, I realized that his scientific discovery can also be used to cause human suffering. Alfred Nobel devoted all of, almost all his fortune to establish the famous Nobel Prize we knew today. And, well, personally, I think the establishment of his fund is also an innocent and noble act. At present, the thing that we see, hear, and use every day, nuclear technology is used for good purposes, such as generating electricity to survive, but also a tool to cause human suffering if the holder has ill intention. Biotechnology helps cure incurable diseases that medicine has been helpless before, but it will also raise concern about cloning if the holder does not have good intention. AI, AI or artificial intelligence. It is extremely useful in life. We will also raise concern about cloning and replacement, destroy human like the movie The Terminator that was released a long time ago. You see, what are the good purpose or innocent in mind? All the things that I mentioned before will become human disaster. And there is no definitive answer to what innocence they mean, it just depends on one view and value. However, it is important to acknowledge the STEM is not a neutral or isolated domain, but rather a complex and dynamic one that constantly interacts with other domains of human activity. 
Staff professional and student should be aware of the ethical and social implications of the work, and strive to use the knowledge, and skill to solve humanity and the planet. And about our title, let's go back to that. Is step our blessing or our curse? Well, my answer would be both. STEM is both our burden and our gift, our joy and our inspiration that we should cherish and share. Our call to action that we need to listen and dare to try, as well as a hope for the better future that we need to pay attention and care. Thank you very much for your attention.